I'm Joseph Hugh, Deputy Leader of the Opposition. An article on the Cayman News Service blog site had a headline stating that a recent report by the Office of the Auditor General, the OAG, finds pre-election abuse of public cash with work carried out by the National Roads Authority, the NRA. In fact, the Auditor General report did not say that the Auditor General found any abuse at all. There was a concern that abuse could occur, but there was no indication that any abuse was found. There's a good reason for that. It's because there was no abuse of public funds. What should be obvious is that the NRA, working to complete the road works that were budgeted for and that it had committed to doing, should be a positive thing. The NRA had indicated in mid-2020 that it would be accelerating the road infrastructure projects to make up for time loss due to the pandemic. This was reported widely in the media, including by CNS. These included work on the East-West Arterial Extension, Shamrock Road widening, the King's Connector, the Airport Connector Roads, and the Godfrey Nixon Way Extension. I supported the NRA's decision to accelerate delivery and welcomed their commitment to getting more road improvements delivered. Acceleration was necessary to make up for time loss because of the pandemic and with reduced traffic volumes on our roads. This was an ideal time to get as much work completed as possible prior to the country opening to tourism again. At the time I said, we are using the time as an opportunity for the National Roads Authority to proceed with critical road construction and pavement rehabilitation projects that would prove more difficult and costly to achieve during regular traffic conditions. So, the CNS headline is disappointing and misleading as it wrongly paints the men and the women who lead the NRA as possibly being corrupt Nothing could be further from the truth, especially with no evidence provided, only ill-conceived presumptions. The NRA is an independent authority that is charged with one task, to use public funds to build the road infrastructure that it deems necessary for the benefit of the people of the Cayman Islands. There is no abuse of public funds in the NRA spending those funds for the purpose that they were intended. As the minister responsible, it was my role to support the NRA and work with them to ensure they could deliver their program and to hold them accountable for their effectiveness. That is a role I carried out throughout my time in office, including in the pre-election period. I did not interfere with the work of the NRA. In closing, I'm surely glad that NRA sought to fix the problems facing the traveling public, especially those coming from the Eastern districts and all of those from Prospect and Red Bay, who had to traverse the Tomlinson, Prospect and Hurley's roundabouts. I am equally glad that the now minister has continued the road works that we started and I'm hopeful that he will get these much needed projects completed. Thank you for listening and may God bless these three beautiful Cayman Islands.